Welcome to the Real Facts on Real Estate podcast, presented by Sean Patrick Moloney. In this series, we educate real estate agents on how to find success in the industry and grow their wealth to six-figure commissions and beyond. Now here is your host, Sean Moloney. Welcome to episode 205, Difficult Client Conversations. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Maloney. Thanks for joining me this week. This week, I want to talk to you agents about something very important to understand, and that's difficult client conversations. They happen so often, but yet so many people avoid them in the name of not hurting anyone's feelings, sometimes even breaching their fiduciary duty, other times wasting people's time, energy, and monies only to avoid a difficult conversation. When having difficult conversations with clients, make sure to follow the acronym Old Car and the principles of it. We owe our clients obedience, loyalty, disclosure, confidentiality, accountability, and reasonable care. Why is this so important? Well, during conversations, it's important to remember who we work for. We work for the client. So sometimes when it comes down to it, arguing with your client is a breach of your loyalty and obedience, right? Loyalty means we do what they tell us to on their behalf. Obedience means we follow what they tell us to do. So now when you're working for a client and they tell you, I want to respond back to the seller and this is what I'd like to say, but you don't say that. You change it a little bit because you don't think it's as tactful as you would be or things. That is breaking your obedience and also questionably your loyalty. So be very careful when having conversations across the hall with the other side to the transaction to follow what your client said. Ultimately speaking, many agents get involved with almost a mindset of NIMBY, which is not in my backyard, right? They have this NIMBY mindset, but guess what? It's not your backyard. It's your client's backyard. It's your client's future. So your opinion on the situation, while as important as a fiduciary to tell people about important things, it's not important to take over the whole entire situation and to not listen to your clients. So some difficult client conversations need to happen. Other ones can be avoided. Sometimes our clients may not like to hear what we have to say, but in order to properly protect them, we must say certain things. This one is very important for agents to understand. Massachusetts is a buyer beware state, but with that said, we are a known material defect disclosure state where if something is known to be wrong, we must disclose that information. Now, there are lots of agents out there that do the old turn the head and pretend like they didn't see something. But what they didn't understand is the courts have ruled time and time again, and it does say it within the laws, that if a professional should and could see what's going on, then they must disclose it. So if you go in a wet basement and you just pretend like it doesn't ever get water, or you go in and you see electrical wires hanging that are bare and you're not mentioning them, you're in a breach of your duty. And you could be pulled in. Remember old, the D was for disclosure. You could be pulled into a lawsuit for failure to disclose. Imagine getting a failure to disclose suit on you about a seller's home that wasn't even yours. But remember, guys, you are there as an industry professional, so therefore, you are the person that your client's relying on. I know a lot of agents go, well, that's why I have the home inspector, that's why I have this and that. I'm not saying every single problem, but I'm saying blatant problems that were never told to the buyer are both problems for the buyer's agent, the seller's agent, the seller themselves, and possibly other people. So don't become a party to the problem become a proactive agent in telling your clients. Now, you're not there to throw your opinion like, I think this floor looks crooked and there's probably a structural issue. We don't want to do these probably type of things. But when we walk in a basement and there's water lines and it's wet down there, we don't want to accept the seller's answer of the basement doesn't get water. We'd want to say to our clients, it appears the basement gets water. You should have someone take a look at this just to ensure that you're getting it the right way. So don't be afraid to have that hard conversation. You're not trashing a deal. You're building a relationship. If you look at every single transaction as a deal and as a commission, You won't do your job correctly, but if you look at it as an opportunity to create a relationship to help guide and mentor your client in the process of buying or selling a home, you're going to do so much better because you're not going to be looking at the transaction. You're going to be looking at the relationship and people with relationship based businesses continue to grow because if there's one thing that gains consumer trust, it's when an agent says something that's going to stop them from getting a paycheck this week, meaning maybe they tell the client, hey, you know, I'm a little bit worried about this water in the basement or something. 
A lot of agents won't say anything, right? So they're more of a salesperson, whereas you're going to be a mentor and a guide. You're going to teach them about the things that they should know about and be okay with the fact that maybe it's not the first home. Maybe it's not the second home. Maybe it's the fourth, fifth, tenth, twentieth, hundredth home. But if you get them into the right home, you treat them with respect and you have those difficult conversations, they're going to respect you as an industry professional. But also remember, old car, that D on old disclosure, Failure you to disclose, don't get pulled up into that mess. When our clients' budgets don't meet their needs, it's often the place where massive amounts of time, energy, and money can be wasted. This is a place where sometimes a suggestion can help steer them on the right path. If you're dealing with an FHA or a VA loan, are you letting them look at properties with peeling and chipping paint, no hand railings, improper grading, all the different things, failure of systems, unfilled pools, broken things? Are you moving forward or are you educating them on the process? Don't be that time waster that allows somebody, because remember, for an FHA or VA loan, when are you going to know that it falls apart? It's called the appraisal. People sometimes use the VA inspector or the FHA inspector. There is no such thing. You have a home inspector, and then you have the appraiser. The appraiser or appraisal is when you're going to run into the issue with property. So don't allow your clients to get into that time suck, to get into that emotional waste, to get into that total waste of everyone's time and energy going, getting an accepted offer, getting a home inspection, spending $500, $600, $700 on a home inspection for a house that's not going to work, only to hit the appraisal and then to act stunned. That's a failure to do your job, folks. Guys, we are real estate professionals. We need to have the difficult conversation sometimes. We need to steer our clients back online with what's going to find them success. We're not doing anything wrong by telling them about problems. We're helping them make it to the end line, being a guide and a mentor. If you're looking for a place that really values being a guide and a mentor, look no further than Move Mentum Realty. We're always hiring new agents. We call our agents Move Mentors because we believe that they're both a guide and a mentor in the process of buying, selling, and yes, owning homes because we want to be there during the entire time for our clients. So that way there, they have someone that they know, like, and trust and will transact real estate with for the rest of their lives. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you haven't already done so, make sure to pound that subscribe button and tell other agents in the business about this great free podcast on growing your business as a real estate agent. Thanks so much for listening and have a great week.